Yo, Vaisant here, and Lost Ark official Twitter page have just tweeted out closed beta information and the business model for, I guess, release. And I'm excited for this game very much. Then well, let's just take a look at the business model here. Scroll down to the main bullet points here. And let's start with number one. You can use gold to buy crystals in the player run exchange. And then over here, the wording for a lot of this is kind of vague. So I have like questions. I don't know if you guys play Lost Ark on like the Korean or the Russian server. Maybe you have more insight than me on this. So, but yeah, free free, let me know. But any item without a crystal price will be tradable via the in-game trading posts. So does that mean that if no one posts it in the exchange, it will be in the trading post or only certain items that that cannot be posted are in the trading post. And then it says here, all items will be available for in-game earnable currency. But this trading post, is it for gold or do you trade with other items? That's so those are like my my questions that I have here. But anyway, let's go to number two, which is the like the best change. Because I heard that you have to rent pets, you can do uh, your, your gold sink, you pay rent to your pets, and then um, if you don't, then you can't use it, right? But now they made it a permanent. So once you get the pet, it's permanent, which is great. And then they have the auto loot feature as well, that's going to be a default. So all the pets will have auto loot. You don't have to worry about it, uh, whether or not you have the subscription based crystal line aura or anything, which is awesome. That's like the best part of this. <laughs> Number three, they in extended the secret store to 72 hours. So you have more time to decide stuff. And then number four, they, they have the crystal line um, changes on here, like to avoid the pay to win stuff. So they, they removed the increased movement speed and uh, exp that you gain from the aura and then they added these half the pc cafes these uh half ticket price things to the crystal line aura but does that mean <laughs> so does that mean that it still exists in the pc cafe and that the pc cafe still exists that that's that's what i'm thinking from here but anyways they they go down here to have the in-game currency overview and Crystals right here is like the important part, right? So you can pretty much exchange crystal, royal crystal, which is the paid gems for regular gems. And then the regular gems, you can you can actually get them also from quest achievements and from gold in the exchange. And then you most, then have the stuff what you use for. So these royal crystal for mostly cosmetics and whatever packages they have. And then for the crystal here, you can use them for acquire in-game items and then the secret store, which they mentioned above. And gold is pretty much for like improving your gear, reforging your gear, end game stuff. And you get them from raids. Some quests also give you that, or you can also exchange for crystals. So these, I'm pretty sure crystals can like change for all of these. Except they, for silver, they only mention it that you just get it from basic activities, etc. I don't know, it could also mean that. But silver is more like repairing gear and just like transportation fees and just for common materials. Um, down here, they kind of mentioned like closed beta stuff, right? This is the founders pack and everything. So it's like what things we already know. Um, I'll go on the next page, which is the closed beta stuff. And then we'll, we'll, we'll go from there. Eh? All right. All right. Just to continue from the last page, we're going to scroll down here. So you do get 40k Royal crystals. They only exist for closed beta. I mean, they mentioned that at the end of this article too, and not everything's converted. And there's no NDA, so you can just feel free to do record, whatever, stream it, which I'm going to do on twitch.tv. I'm going to be streaming this like the time it drops because I took the day off. I took the day off because I knew was, this was coming out. Um, and But anyways, <laughs> everyone's going to have the Crystalline Aura as well. So we don't need to worry about that. Uh, all the stuff that we mentioned before, like the PC Cafe stuff, apparently you already have access to it. But the main key kickaways are that uh, uh, up here, that the... Uh, the closed beta is starting on November 4th, 9 a.m. Pacific time, and it's closing at end of day November 11th Pacific time. And they're going to have two different servers, North America and Europe. And the first few hours, they're going to be, let's see right here. They're going to do initial load, right? They're going to have everyone in a single world right here. here it is. They put everyone in a single world, and then they're going to slowly increase and expand the world as they reach the limit. And we go down here, they have the new Discord. I'll probably join that after this video. And I'll, I'll go to the forums too. 
and then we have more closed beta stuff. So these are like the changes that they're doing between closed beta and alpha, I believe, and I guess maybe launch. But they also, I don't know of this part right here. Okay, so we have unique prologue, like for each class. They now just have one prologue for everyone, and you automatically start at level 10. So you can just automatically pick your subclass. I don't know if this is going to be like a permanent thing or just only like closed beta thing. But there's just some stuff that I already know, like the level cap increased to 55, expedition level 100, second awakening skill and quest is added for all classes. Uh, I don't know much of the of what they mean by like the content, but they added content for the main story and all of this uh, chaos dungeon, which I'm I'm okay, I'm okay with all and happy with all the new content. So I don't I don't know what they're gonna be. It's gonna be a surprise for me. And then abyss dungeons more dungeons who doesn't like have more dungeons and here we have tier two raids right they have tier one raids and tier two raids more chaos uh, gate i don't know that same as chaos dungeon they have a tower which you can climb i'm guessing cube dungeons farms and caves where you have like passive resources generation that you can have uh, 70 islands that's like quite a bit i don't know these zones in particular and then we have some general improvements oh wait they also mentioned that we also have some it's only for closed beta, but the daily logins, attendance event, uh, they probably will have in the launch as well, or at least like they have, I'm hoping, like uh, a launch event where they have attendance. But here we have some UI changes, like font assess, uh, size adjustments. They added more hairstyles, so that'll be great. Uh, language filter filtering. Uh, currency exchange apparently is not available at launch. I mean, not available at closed beta, but it'll be available at launch. And then they have this power pass, which you get after you complete the main quest. So the power pass is pretty much when you get your, you can power up your ult from like level 10, which is the start of this, right? Cause everyone just start level 10, all of the 50. So you skip like the leveling process. You only get one per account. They give one for free, like when you complete the main quest. So that's nice. And then they have some other extra stuff like the striker class. We know that's going to be in there. Uh, color blind filters, uh, a lot of accessibility stuff that are nice they have voiceover language options so you can change it from like english to something else whatever you want they have like a training room here this is what it seems like and they have a compass which allowed you to find places you could look it up and apparently they have this adventure island thing which is like time events which is nice and you can spectate and have pv matches i think there's a tournament somewhere happening so i guess that's gonna be helpful for this and this one what i kind of explained earlier but yeah that's that's what's happening for the closed beta and I guess ongoing with the business model. Everything looks good. They're like going to take a right step in the right direction. I'm excited for this game. I can't wait to come out. And I, I'm going to be playing one of those martial arts class because I enjoy them very much. Maybe a support too, just to like help people out. But anyways, hopefully you guys enjoyed this video. And with that, later days.